what is good friend hope you're having a fantastic day welcome back to the morning of day nine in seven days 1.0 full release week technically it's still a week of the full release tomorrow it won't be so i can call it that uh let's get right to it though i did uh craft over a iron fire axe as well as a shovel the reason why i didn't do a pick uh, at the moment is because I think I want to do this map quest right here. Let's go ahead and read it. Uh, we need a better weapon than what we have or something better. So hopefully that'll solve our issues there. Let me go ahead and change this stuff out really quick. All right. And we do have a structural brace mod as well as a wood splitter mod. And we're going to go ahead and throw that on the axe. Now, I still have to carry our stone axe because i have challenges that i gotta complete with the stone axe speaking of let's go ahead and collect this one uh we've crafted 100 forge iron in our uh forge which is great but you see this right here it says harvest some short pipes with an with a stone axe i've done it i hit a pile of pipes the big pipes and got some pipes from it and it didn't work the other one that's a little iffy uh is this one the polymer one it says to grab them scrap polymers from water barrels do uh window blinds and or trash but it says to harvest with the stone axe i'm going to show you guys that i'm grabbing these uh, these areas i'm not grabbing them but i'm harvesting them with my stone axe and it's not working at all but let's go ahead and turn this uh quest in first all right and i do have a point available i want to put that into should we do medium armor uh, or I can save it and then get get another point into parkour. I'm not sure yet. We'll save it for now since I'm not really sure where we're gonna put it. Hello, traveler. What's ailing you? Hello, Jinyun. Didn't think you had it in you. Hey, Good you'd be job. surprised what I have in me. Uh, I guess we're doing a Molly's, right? Yeah, because we're not doing a spear hunt. This is a good uh, spear hunter book, but we're not doing one. And all this other stuff is not great. So yeah, I guess we'll do the Molly's. And yes, there is our reward for uh nail gun? Nail gun. Yeah, nail gun. Has to be. Although this is this is a lot of dupes. I mean how often we are gonna build a bait, a horde base eventually. I'm not even sure we're gonna do that on week on 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 day 14, to be honest with you. We might just ride back to our old one. It works so well. Um I'm I'm like torn. Really torn. This is a lot of money. We can probably like benefit from it. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing the tokens. All right. And then this will send us out to Bob. Okay, be careful. Be careful. All right. We'll try not to. And then may I see your inventory. You restock on day 10. Okay. It's good to know. So we, but we do have a lot of money now. Uh, we don't need scrapping for fun. We don't need shotgun weekly or home cooking. Uh, anything else here? That's kind of cool and sexy. Uh, ta -ta. We can do the water gather. The speed speeds up. Uh, the the amount the the time that it takes for the dew collector to gather some murky water so we'll do that why not i think that's a good purchase and you know what i'm gonna purchase some gas as well i know i know not the best way to spend our money but we need it uh because when we have a motor vehicle right a vehicle that requires gasoline to work all right lady uh no jobs from you but thank you you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna start just buying I need this, and I also need tape. Oh, she's got a crucible. I need to start buying tape. Yep, let's take it. I don't care if I'm broke. And then glue. This stuff is is so important in 1.0. Cloth, sewing kits, armor parts, and glue are like your go-to. For sure. All right, let's see here. Please tell me this is... So the treasure map is over here. And where is our trader? Please tell me he's in the vicinity. No. We're, okay, we have that drop there. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. So he's way over here. So, um, yeah, this, <laughs> this isn't cool. And let, you know what? Let's, all right, let's, let's go get the, let's go get the map, the, um, not the, the map. Yeah, the map quest. This one, the treasure map. I'm all over the place. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Man, that's far. All right, all right, we've made it now. Oh, shoot. I can't, Oh, I only have six lockpicks. That's not good. That is not good. So the only reason why I don't I don't like the fact that I didn't get the pickaxe is because the pickaxe actually does help with with um, tier three and four and five chests. But 
we do have six lock picks so hopefully um we can open it up with one of those six where why are you coming at me and then leaving me my dude all right guys let me get to this um treasure and then i'll bring you guys right back Aha, we found it. The good thing is that I am getting rid of these blocks with one stroke, which is good. All right, let's see. Come on, no whammies. Oh, we're not even using lockpicks. What? Let's go. I didn't know that. Oh, no, we are using lockpicks. I didn't see the little lockpick icon, icon at the bottom right, so I assume we weren't. Oh, come on. Four more. Three more. Two more. Oh, last one. Come on. All right, guys. I'm going to pick at this thing for a hot minute. All right. Here we go. That was so sad. Uh, so what do we get here? Good. We got good money. A decent amount of ammo. All right. I I'm not mad at that. That's fine. That'll work. We got a bunch of uh, clay as well. So not a bad trade-off. So now we have a deci decision to make. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and repair you, I guess. So we can't, I was thinking we can go grab this drop and then do this. Yeah, let's do that. It's a little bit of change of plans. I know the plan was to go see Bob, but it's going to be a tier three job. It's going to be in the desert and all we have is a knife. So I just, I'm going to buy one more day of kind of getting ready for that. So we're going to go get this drop. I'm going to go to that bookstore. Uh, we'll clear it out completely. And then, um, and then we'll see how much time we have left maybe we will head out to bob and find a place to kind of post up for a little bit all right all right here we are we still have that pending honey challenge as well where is it let me show it to you guys here it is so oh it's with the stone axe oh my gosh okay so i did get a honey but i i broke the box i mean the the tree stump with my axe all right, we got armored up. We got a wrench. Ah, actually, this isn't bad at all. I did pick up some magazines from a couple of mailboxes, so let me go ahead and read those as well. We got uh, Pistol P Volume 4, 9mm weapons degrade 20% slower, which is awesome. And this is a 10% chance to cripple a, uh, a zombie when you hit him in the leg. That is awesome. And then let's go ahead and read you. So that's scrapping for fun, handy land, and armored up. All right, cool. And now another option we have is to actually go in a sea trader wreck. And then coming down and doing the book just to see what kind of I can remove that and then yeah let's do it I'm gonna re, I'm gonna go over there we're gonna remove this go see Trader Wreck we haven't seen him since the beginning of the series and obviously he's gonna have new items we have a lot of money so I want to go see if he's got anything that that's gonna help us uh, in our desert road trip that we're gonna be doing soon there we go we got it Harvest Honey Challenge is done. All right, I'm going to go ahead and activate this, you know, the, the polymer one, okay? Watch this. I'm going to activate it. Let's go ahead and take care of this dude first. Biker boy, I'll tell him. These dudes are super, super tanky. There we go. All right. So, oh, look at this. Okay, so you, if you active, wow. So if you activate the, the the challenge, it actually lets you know what what you need to hit in order to get credit for it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. <laughs> and there is well, well, what is this? Let me see. I know this is a um. Oh, we haven't even collected this. I'm gonna try something here. Let me grab you. Place you here. I know this is insane. We'll grab you, and then. Uh, we didn't get anything out of it. Okay, that's fine. I was just trying to see if if we got um something on top of what it actually offers, but it doesn't. That works with... Well, that works with the little medicine cabinet, right? All right, let's remove this. See if we have anything good on for sale here. Uh, nope, not that I want to spend my money on, so we're good there. Uh, this stuff hasn't restocked. You know what? I am going to purchase uh, Grandpa's... Oh, they got two of them. Or more than two, actually. This thing's pretty cool. When you activate the quest, it, it'll actually go into a building and show you that you need to go in there to grab um, the items that, that it's 
asking for you from from you like right here look at it. it's going to be on the other side of the wall of the fence which is right here i wonder what it is okay so yeah so these for sure give you the the polymer and it qualifies for the challenge which is really cool but i was driving by houses and it was literally showing me that little yellow icon inside the house i think that's pretty freaking awesome all right i hope i didn't drive all the way over here for nothing Let's see what Mr. Wreck has for us. All right, you grouch. Holy shit. I thought you take a look, but don't expect me to hold your hand through it. Oh, I want you to hold my hand through it. Okay, uh, I can actually purchase the iron picks. It doesn't take a lot to make it. I think it takes like 30, 30 forge. Um... 34, 30 forged uh, units, so the, the, the forged iron, it takes 30 of these to make it, but I'm more interested in this stuff. Uh, I'm going to buy the knife magazine. Anything else? What is this wasteland learn trick on how to get uh, honey from trees? Okay, that's awesome. We already got a gatherer. Now, technically, I can make two dew collectors, which is probably a smart thing. Anything else? We're buying a little bit of more gas. I want to see if it's worth uh, using the sugar butts, though. He has sewing kits, which we need, which we, we want. Uh, armor parts, he has two of them. He's got a preacher hat, it's kind of cool. He's got a bunch of, of the the different um, outfits. Could be helpful, but not a lot. I don't think it's worth using it. Let's just purchase this stuff outright. In order for, for, for this to make sense, you need to purchase uh, $3,000 worth of stuff. And I don't think we're going to purchase that much, even though I am selling this for 100 Why not? All right, let's take a look here. So we said we were going to do the knife guy. And not really too worried about that. No spear hunters. Wiring big hitters. No, none of that. A uh, little bit of gas. Just a little bit. Not a lot. And then what else was there? Uh, the sewing kits. How much for all of them? Seven fifty. dollars oh, I feel like we get a lot of those. I'll just buy three of you. And then the other stuff was... You know what? I don't... I don't, I'm just going to buy it. I'm not sure how hard an asset is to get in 1.0 yet. Full parts and armor parts. 1-2. I'm not sure if I spent 3000 If I did, then that's my bad. The beauty of this is we could always save it and then use it another time. All right. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? <laughs> I don't. Actually, I don't. I just wanted something good. But we're good here. We, we got what we wanted, which is great. Let me just scrap this. We got parts. Oh, I didn't check for for uh, glue and tape. Glue and tape. Yeah, and then maybe I'm maybe I I am gonna go over. No glue, tape. No tape. All right. I go broke with more customers like you. I think you're already broke. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go to. There is a uh a, a, one of the tier two cracker books on the way back home. So let's go do that, and uh, I'll bring you guys right back. It's right here. Let me kind of mark that and then I can remove that because we picked it up. And I'm pretty sure we, we picked up seven as well. Drop seven. Yeah, we did. I'm sure we did. Drop seven. Let's go. All right. Very cool. Bring you guys back shortly. All right, y'all. So I'm here at the hometown where the, the cracker book is. One thing I, I kind of appreciate now, and, and I remember this from playing uh, vanilla, like with no mods, no overhaul mods. Is I remember vanilla like by day six or seven. If you really like hustled, you can get a motorcycle. It's day nine. We're not even close to it. And the reason why I was thinking about a motorcycle as I was driving over here, for the simple fact that this thing is super super slow. And so I was like, man, I wonder how how much I have to grind to get a, a motorcycle, which will hopefully be faster, right? That's not a guarantee, but for the most part, motorcycles are faster. Let me go in here and see what it is about these this POI that's allowing me to grab pipes. Uh, and so that's one thing I do appreciate is that you can no longer like just completely not cheese the game, but work on it super, super focus mode and and grab it and grab the stuff. What you need, basically, which back then the motorcycle was you could get it pretty easily. If you just focused on it. All right. So it says that I can pick them up from here, right? Let me grab 
Oh, I thought it was going to be murky water. Okay, let's see here. So if I grab them from here... Okay, so it does work. I, I did try that. I promise I tried that. And it also works here. Are you back there? Oh my gosh. What's up, my dude? There we go. A one-shot action. Okay, so... I don't know if you have to have it active. It kind of sucks if you do, in my opinion. I don't think you should have to have it op um, active in order to get those stuff. Those, um, the perks. I do want coal. I want to keep the coal. Let's go ahead and read the Forge Ahead, Knife, uh, Archery, Volume 4, Learn How to Craft Steel Arrows and Bolts. Ooh, that's actually a really good one. Okay, and there are more over here. So pretty much any bathroom sink, you can grab these pipes and get credit for it. The good thing is this is only 10, so we only need one more. Is this one of them? No, it's not. You figure, you'd think it would be, right? Any, anywhere else probably in the other building all right um let's go to the to the bookstore because that will that should have a sink or a bathroom and then we're we'll get it from there we'll get the last one from there and then i did complete the polymer one i just hit a blue a blue can let me grab this mailbox why not this book we've already read i wasn't gonna search the fire truck but saw the medical pile why not? And I hear a dude here. The burnt boy. There you go. You're done. Let's go ahead and just search the fire truck. I think we get paper from this guy. Pretty sad. Oh, cloth. Oh, I can't. I can't fit the cloth. What do you know? Someone's coming. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I need cloth, but not three. Three is not going to make me or break me. All right, here we go. So we do have a couple options there to complete the pipe quest, which we'll do. Just kind of want to show you guys what kind of books we do get. This is probably one of the easiest POIs to get books in. We're not preluding because we're not doing an actual quest. We'd be lucky if we got a tier one quest and it was this particular POI, but I doubt it. It's kind of far from all the traders. This town doesn't have a trader. It's a small little tiny town. I'll show you right now. All right, cool. And this is the place where I thought we would get another pipe. There it is. So we finished that one as well. Let's go ahead and uh, collect them so that we got the honey, we got the pipes, and then we got the polymer. So now we need to do leather. Harvest leather from uh, restaurant booths with a stone axe. So let's go ahead and track that one. And that's only 10, which is cool. Ooh, there we go, guys. Let's go. I will take a tier one toilet pistol, baby. Yes, I will. Come on. And now I don't you really use the the light here for the laser sight for the gun, but it does give it a little bit of range damage, added range damage. So, okay, cool. Now we have a decent gun that we can actually defend ourselves with. Before we were just kind of just poking people with the knife. It was kind of sad, honestly. Wait, there's no one here? Is that is that a thing? I don't I don't I don't believe it. I'm flabbergasted. What the heck? All right, that's fine. I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, let's see. I know we got to climb up here. I'm probably doing this backwards. There's another way to do this and definitely not doing it the correct way here. Oh, nice armor parts. Love it. Oh, yes. And it's, it's cool that I get excited for different stuff now. Sewing kits, armor parts, like that stuff. Last, you know, last freaking alpha. There's no way we get excited for that. Like, ah, whatever. Sewing kids you would need only to make what was it? What was it that we needed to make? I think um, mo um pocket mods, right? I can't remember. Let's go ahead and read all these books because they're they're encumbering me up. So let's do armored up, sledgehammer, handgun, handy land, two knife, a sort of shotgun schematic, which is read it for the XP. Same with the duck bill, uh, shotgun weekly, and tools digest. We'll go ahead and eat since we're a little bit hungry. Okay, cool. Just gonna go ahead and scrap you and hold stone axe see it even tells you like if you're with the wrong if, if you have the wrong tool out it'll tell you like hey you're not holding the right item here buddy you're not going to get credit for it so we got to find a restaurant and do all the little those little the little bar stools that have leather on top that have the leather cushion yeah those are the ones you got to do obviously none here yet but i do want to see if like i don't want to miss any books and this poi is empty there is nothing in, like, there are no zombies here, which is super interesting. There's one coming in from the outside. 
Yeah, okay, I guess we I think we got it all. Wait, there's a little front room, I, I think. Hold on. All right. Oh, we got two points. Let's go ahead and put those into agility. Let's do it. All right, so now we're there, and now we could actually... No, not yet. Oh, it needs to be seven. Ouch. Okay. That's fine. What do we get for this? Oh, oil. Okay. Where can I find... Is there, like, a little restaurant here that I can... Let me kind of drive this way. Okay, so I'm not seeing <laughs> I'm not seeing any notifications. I you would think that the bowling alley would have those those little chairs, but I guess it doesn't. I know Jerry's Phil is a uh, gas station, so that's probably not gonna have it either. All right, let's uh, let's head home and see if there are any like uh, restaurants or coffee shops that might have the notifications for the leather challenge. Nice, we picked up an engine from wrenching that vehicle. That is really, really cool. Because we used up our last, we had one engine left. But I used it to craft the, the, the mini bike. So, I don't know, I just, I, I wanted to search it to see what I would get. And I just started wrenching it for some reason. Uh, when you wrench a vehicle, let me show you. So, if you don't want to spend the whole time, if you don't want to waste too much time wrenching a vehicle. So, first you search it, right? Okay, you grab whatever's inside, and then when you start wrenching it, it'll give you its um, its HP. Once it reaches five below 500, you've gone over the halfway mark. That's when you get whatever item. See, notice we got a battery. So that's when you get, like, the big item that you're going to get from the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and finish wrenching it, but you'll see that we're not going to get any other bigger items. I don't think. Yeah, see, everything else is just kind of small. So you either get a battery or an engine, right? So once you get to uh, 500, once you wrench half of its HP, you'll either get either one of those two, the, the battery or the or the engine. So if you're looking for those two items and you're just wrenching vehicles, once you get to 50% of it, uh, if you didn't get one, then you're not going to get one uh, for the most part. I mean, I could be wrong, but I from what I've seen, you only get the big item like right after you you give it that, that, that wrench that takes it under 50%. Okay, so let's try our luck here. Let's see if we can find... Um, a place that we can get those the leather I, I do want to finish that quest and I know I have stuff here from my bike that I can put in my bike and, and in my person I think let me see here maybe not all right guys I cannot find any leather anyways I think what I'm gonna try to do is something funky let me see if this works okay we got them I'm gonna see if I can harvest leather with with the pickaxe on this guy and see if if we get credit for that Nope, we don't. We do not get credit for it. So I've, I've been driving around town this entire time. And I, I didn't now I didn't see any of the like the little restaurants or coffee shops that have those tools that I'm looking for. So maybe that's why. But I, I know some of the houses sometimes have those and I could not find any. And I have the challenge active. I even had the stone axe equipped. To see if that would make a difference and it doesn't i i can't i couldn't find one which is kind of unfortunate i don't want to carry the stone axe anymore like i'm done with it like all we the only reason we need it now is to harvest the leather but I th let me see do i have any here in this poi yeah see these are the ones i'm thinking about here let me see no they don't harvest leather because if you go to the chat you, you don't get leather from harvesting it says it can be harvested from places such as dead animals, leather couches, and leather restaurant booths. That's what stuck to me, the leather restaurant booths. Harvest some leather from restaurant booths. Okay, so they do have to be restaurant booths. So these are the ones. Oh, no, no. The restaurant booths are the like the, the, the two-seaters with the two people on each side. Those are like the regular booths, right? Like a restaurant booth. Um, so we do need to find a restaurant for that. I get it. I get it. I'm done with that. I'm not mad at that at all. I can hang with that uh, for sure, but um, I think we're good for today. I know we didn't really, it doesn't seem like we accomplished much, but we did. We did, and I know it because I I, I felt that I got a lot of the stuff that I wanted, that I needed. Uh, let me go ahead and read this stuff. We did pick up this uh, Enforcer Volume 6, 44 Magnum Ammunition. It's now craftable, and then I got electric electronic parts and more scrapping for fun. And we did have uh, the biker outfit from, I think, from the previous episode and the good thing is now we have a pistol which is super freaking sexy uh let me see i i want to keep this here this year because eventually we're gonna sell it 
and I'll just bring everything else with that I can. Go ahead and throw in all the oil here that we can. All right, gassed up, shoddy. All right, I can I can bring this stuff up um, offline. It's no big deal. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for this episode. So next episode, we got a gun. We're gonna go over to uh, Bob. We're gonna go scope out the desert. It's kind of far from here, so it's good that we got gas. It's way over here, but that's fine. And they're gonna be tier three jobs. We don't have to do all three tier three jobs with them. Maybe we'll do one or two, and then we'll come over here to Jen and do the rest of the tier three jobs uh, with Jen. But it's looking more like this is where we're going to live. The whole thing is also is you kind of want to live in the middle. That's another thing that I didn't think about. But because the way it's set up is you have the pine forest and then you have the four bi biomes around it. So if we go live in the desert to get to across to the other biomes, it's going to be a hot mess. So I just noticed it looks like a little human guy with the head and the arms, a short arm, the legs. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, and so I don't know, I don't know about living in the desert because when, now that you pick a biome to pick to live in, you're kind of making it kind of difficult for you to get to the other, uh, biomes because of the distance. So here's an idea for mod creators. If anybody's watching, that's a mod creator, make a mod, uh, not like an overhaul mod, but a mod where you can choose what you want the center biome to be. So it's like, Hey, I want the center biome to be wasteland. Cause I want to live in the wasteland. Now, what that's going to mean is wherever the pine forest is, you're going to have to start over there. You don't have to, but if you want to go in the order that the game wants you to, then you would go wherever the... Because it'd be random other than your your center biome, right? So if you want... Like I said, if you want wasteland, then the center biome is wasteland, and then they'll put the pine forest, I don't know, to the right or north or whatever, west or south, and that's where you would kind of have to either walk or or you would still be spawned in the pine forest, but in the middle would be the biome where you want to live. That way, it's easy for you to get to the other biomes um, throughout the game. Anyways, that's just an idea. I think that would be really cool. But that's it. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the episode and the series. If you are enjoying it, let me know in the comments, please. And remember, please take care of yourselves. Always make good choices. And I'll see you on the other side.